Welcome to Unleash the Awesome with Dave Gambrill. All of us have unique skills, talents, and abilities that aren't being used to their full potential. Our mission is to share the people, tools, apps, and other resources that will help you unleash your awesome on the world. Yo, what's up? It's Dave. Welcome to another episode of Unleash the Awesome. Today, let's talk about how you can put a lid on the noise so you can hear the signal more clearly. What the heck do I mean by that? Well, in engineering, sound engineering, there's this thing called signal to noise ratio. And basically what that says is how strong is the actual information, is the signal that you want to receive, how is it coming through, and then how much noise is there. So is it easy to hear the actual signal, or is there too much noise, or artifact, or static, or whatever else. Signal to noise ratio, that's just a really basic way to explain that idea or concept signal to noise ratio. And so I wonder about that as it relates to how you and I take in information. So we are in a situation where we are drowning in information, but we are starving for wisdom and knowledge, right? There's so much stuff coming at us every day, pings and dings and whistles and bells on our phone. And we're listening to so many podcasts, maybe listening to books, listening to Howard Stern, watching political coverage on TV for hours on end, like just so much stuff, binge watching stuff on Netflix, so many inputs. And my question to you today is, or for all of us, right? I revisit this a lot myself. How much of that is noise in your life? And how much of that is signal? Is that meaningful information, meaningful content? stuff that you can do things with in your life to be more productive, efficient, effective, to grow your business, whatever. How much is signal and how much is noise? If you're like most people, there's a hell of a lot of noise. And so I want to talk about how you can put the lid on the noise and some tactical and practical things you can do for that. So first of all, lid is a acronym for low information diet. Borrowed that from Tim Ferriss in his book, The 4-Hour Workweek. But really, there's so many things going on right now, especially in the United States here. It's towards the end of August 2020, and we've got a pandemic. We have an election cycle, presidential election cycle. Like, there's so many things going on. And you could get lost in watching TV all day, watching news all day. And I'm not saying, don't misunderstand me, I'm not saying these things are not important. But what I am asking is how much do you need to watch? How much coverage do you need to see before you can form your own idea or own opinion? And I would argue, actually, that the more you watch and the more you consume, especially the news, the more uneducated you actually are. I know that sounds crazy, but there's so many people spouting opinions and false information and whatever that it seems like the more you consume, the probably less educated you are about these things. So what Tim Ferriss talks about in his book, The 4-Hour Workweek, which you should read if you haven't already, it's a wonderful book. I think it is still on the bestseller list, and it came out in like 2007, something like that, but it's consistently been on the on the bestseller list. Tim talks about low information diet, right? He says, look, I don't watch the news. I If I need to get some information, I'll scan the headlines, and that's a practice I've been doing since I've read his book. So instead of watching the evening news or CNN or Fox or whatever. Like I don't watch any of those things. If I need information, what I do is I'll just scan headlines from multiple sources. Some that lean left politically, some that lean right politically, some that are down the middle, some that I don't even know, but I'll just scan really quick. CNN, Drudge Report, Fox, whatever, um, BBC, The Guardian, sometimes Al Jazeera, right? I'll look at all these things that I'll go, okay, and I'll scan them for the same story I'll scan the headlines and go, bup, 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 bup. okay, interesting. I used to be able to do this in the gym that I would work out in when you could work out in gyms because they would have the news on multiple channels from multiple feeds and you could see them how they covered the same story differently. Right, so I'll just scan the headlines and go, okay, that's all I really need to know. If I need to dig deeper, I'll dig deeper, but I'll dig deeper from multiple sources so I can kind of form my own opinion instead of just having it fed to me by one special interest, if you would, or one um, 
one organization that tends to lean a certain way with their news. All right, so that's it. So I don't watch the news. So guess all the time that saves me in the day. I don't have to watch the evening news. I don't watch CNN. I'm not watching hours and hours of political coverage. I'm not watching uh, the political, um, all these conventions and stuff, days and days and hours and hours of it. No, I don't need to watch all that. <laughs> but I've made a decision on things like that. Like, why do I need to watch more of it? So that's one way to do it, right? Just make some decisions on that. Also, what are you listening to for podcasts? What are you listening to for audiobooks? I mean, frankly, maybe you should stop listening to this podcast if it's not serving you. If it's not adding value to the things you're trying to do in your life right now or in the near future, right? If this is not helping you, then don't listen to it. Unsubscribe, seriously. I don't really care about my vanity metrics of ratings and reviews and subscriptions. I want this to help you. So if it's not helping you, then don't listen to it. But I would say that about everything else you're doing too. If it's not helping you, why are you watching it? If it's not helping you, why are you listening to it? Now I get it, there needs to be some entertainment. I'm not suggesting you be a full martyr and not do anything fun. But do you really need to watch, binge watch an entire series on Netflix or something? Probably not. So you could take a lot of that noise and turn it down and instead fill it with something good. Fill it with a, a nonfiction book like The 4-Hour Workweek or build your business, build out your courses on Kajabi like I talked about, right? You just do a revenue generating thing. Uh, do something, right? Instead of taking in all that noise. So that would be one thing, right? Reduce the noise. And then if you're going to fill it with something, fill it with useful stuff, better signal. The other thing I would suggest to you is your phone. Take a look at your phone and see how many apps can notify you, right? I know in all the different phones, you could go into notifications and you can alter them. Generally, what I'm suggesting you do is you turn off notifications for just about everything. The only times I really get notifications, that includes calls, by the way, incoming calls, it's really from family, close friends, and my paid coaching clients. That's it. Everything else is going to voicemail. And in terms of apps, the only ones that can really ring me or buzz me or notify me are things like severe weather alerts. Maybe we have an app for the schools that my kids go to. So like if there's an emergency at a school or something, I would get notified of that. But outside of that, I don't have Facebook and Twitter and Instagram sending me push notifications or showing me a little um, number on a little number icon on the app badge. So then I go like, oh wait, I'm missing something. I need to click in, right? All these app people want you to have that turned on. They want to push notifications. They even do it on your browser now in your computer. My suggestion to you would be your default position should be no. Say no to all of it. This is coming from a marketing guy who teaches people how to do marketing and how to do Interruption marketing, which is getting in front of people. But I'm telling you, if you want to be successful, turn that stuff off. Say no. Don't let these bells and whistles and things happen to you. I'm not saying you need to delete the app outright. Some people take that to the extreme. Well, I'm going to delete Facebook off my phone or Instagram off my phone. Listen, if you have some, if you have some discipline around these notifications, just turn the notifications off. So I still have Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff on my phone, Facebook, but I don't get any notifications that get pushed through. Meaning if I want to interact with that app, I have to go into it. I mean, I'm not getting a thing that says you're missing a notification here. You're missing that. Oh, here's something you're missing, right? Because we've become addicted to our devices. There's lots of data to back that up. The dopamine addiction of the dopamine hits we get of like, oh, here's something. I need to respond to something. Somebody liked my thing. Somebody commented. I need to go in, right? A lot of that stuff is noise. Almost all of it is noise. Even if you're running your business on Facebook or online like I do, right? I, I do a lot of my stuff online. Still, 80 to 95% of those inputs and bells and whistles and notifications are garbage. It's noise. I'm sure you've heard Gigo before, right? Garbage in, garbage out. If, if you're putting bad stuff into your head all day, that's all that can come out of your head. And out of your mouth is dumb, bad stuff, a lot of noise. So reduce it. Turn the notifications down. Turn them off. You don't need to put your phone on do not disturb. I mean, you can. Or put it on airplane mode if you want. You can. Just reduce the notifications. Then what happens is when you do these things I've mentioned in this podcast episode, the noise goes way down. So then you can spend your time, your waking hours, parsing and filtering through the signal, the good stuff. What do you need to see? What should be happening? What is going on? What do I need to run my business? What do I need to run my life? What do I need to be a better dad, a parent, a spouse, whatever, partner, what do I need to help my kids get through school right now in these strange situations we find ourselves in in the world, 
right? Those are things I need to see. Those are things I want to see. In your email, you could do filters and folders so you don't get all the ads and stuff from different companies. Instead of having them show in your inbox, set up a filter called shopping and have all those things get filtered into a folder so they don't show up in your inbox. Less noise, more signal, right? Put a lid on the noise so you can hear the signal. Like these three things alone, right? Doing an audit of what you're watching and listening to, turning off the notifications on your phone, at least you know 90% of the apps, right? the ones that don't really matter, and then paying attention to your email, what's coming in, what you're allowing to hit your inbox. Those three things alone, if you did them, would reduce the noise by about 90%. It'll take you a little bit to do it. It'll take you a few minutes to figure it out, but it is time well spent. So then you can put a lid on the noise and you can hear the signal clear. You can hear the things that matter to you. And then you can take action on those things. Right? I hear so many people and I see so many people online that get like outraged and freaked out about all this stuff. I'm going to let you in on a secret. If you don't watch and see a lot of that stuff, you can't get outraged by it. Again, I'm not saying there aren't things happening in the world that need our time and attention, but how much time and attention does it really need from you? Do you really need to consume 12 hours of watching the news to be like, wow, that's a really bad situation. I should figure out what I could do about that. Or, hey, that's a really good situation. I could figure out a way to amplify it. Right? It doesn't take that much time. You're smart people. Right? Go, oh, wow, that's really bad. Hmm, okay. And then if you want to take action on it, great, but take action. Sitting there and watching more TV, more coverage of it isn't going to help you. It's not helping anybody. And frankly, in many cases, resharing and that stuff online, right? It's not really helping either. Like people are pretty aware of some of those things. And I just watch people reshare and reshare the negativity and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, show me a solution, right? Be solutions minded, be a possibilitarian. That's what I call myself. Like what's possible? Okay, we get it. It's bad. Okay, cool. What are we going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? I see the political thing. People like would rather sling mud at each other than be like, all right, what does that guy really bring to the table? What does that gal really bring to the table? What's good about her? What's good about him? Right. But it's all negative, mostly negative. If you turn it all down or don't pay any attention to it, then guess what? Your mind isn't tainted with all of that stuff. You're not putting that garbage in your head. So it's really up to you. I mean, what a lot of you are doing is the equivalent of somebody knocking on your front door and you answering the door and them having a 30 gallon trash can filled with the most disgusting smelling looking trash, hot trash in a 30 gallon container. And they go, Hey, do you mind if I come on in and just dump this all over your living room, family room, dump it in your kitchen? What many of you are doing is saying yes to that (laughs) because the stuff that we're putting in is garbage. The information we're taking in is garbage. It's noise. You wouldn't let somebody come in and dump that garbage all over your house. So why are you letting some of these outlets, media outlets, whatever, dump that garbage in your head? You have to stand guard at the border of your mind, okay? The six inches that stands between most people's frustration and success is the six inches between their ears. It's their brain. So protect it. Less noise, more signal. Okay, I hope this served you. Until next time, turn down the noise, tune into the signal, and go unleash your awesome on the world. See ya. Thanks for listening to Unleash the Awesome. Please be sure to subscribe, rate, and review wherever you listen to your podcasts. And please share us on your favorite social media platforms using hashtag UnleashAwesome.